only way Queen Naomi can survive from whatever is happening in her life is if she continues to persuade her dreams. And without that, there is no way nothing like that can happen in her life. Of course, she has seen that all the things that are beginning to go on in her life has never been okay right from the very start. And people are still flooding in. People are still coming in, telling her what exactly she needs to do in order to have a successful life that she always wanted. But things haven't been too good for her because the Olori's intervention in her life has become more than the time she is seeing today every single day. More than the times Oni is even paying attention to her. Yes, she has already done things right from the very beginning in order to ensure she has a safe relationship with Oni and also with the Oloris. But deep down inside her heart, she knows that there is nothing that she can do if at all these Oloris don't forgive her. There is nothing at all that she can do that she will get forgiveness from each and every single one of these Oloris. So guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on when and where you are actually watching us from. This is Royal Updates TV, where we bring the top tips from the entertainment industry and also from the Oni of Ife Palace. It has never been an easy thing for Queen Naomi because the stress she has been going through all of this while has been unmatched to what kind of wickedness these Oloris are busy plotting against her. She has done everything in her own power to ensure that she and the Oloris are on good terms. But it is like as if the Oloris don't value the kind of relationship Queen Naomi is planning on having with them. She has tried to do whatever she can in order to make them realize she is not into any form of joke. She is not even into any form of play with the Oloris. Yes, she has tried and tried and tried, but it has never been possible due to the fact that these Oloris still have something they have to hold on to in order to put Queen Naomi in a very tight situation. The things that are happening now is becoming too much for her. Even the Wale Agba came into her house to come and inform her specifically that yes, she may be happy that Oni himself is doing things to bring her back into the palace, but least should she know. Least does she know that the things that the Oloris are busy planning are more than whatever she is busy thinking. So in respect to that, in whatever she thinks is going to happen in her life, she should always put it at the back of her mind that a whole lot of things is going to happen. A whole lot of things is going to go on in her life. So in respect to all of that, she needs to believe. She needs to make them know that she is not interested in it. Yet, they keep on in, in, in inviting Queen Naomi, telling her what she needs to do, telling her how exactly she needs to do it. Because if she doesn't do it that way, it is going to be very, very shameful for her. She will have to go through a whole lot of pain in order to get to wherever she wants to be. But things have been going on quite for a while now. And instead of her sitting back, looking at what they have to do, she has to make sure that her prayers are non-stop. She has to make sure that the praying that she has started right from the beginning doesn't stop at all. Because that is where all of her powers is. That is where all of the power and the strength that she's busy getting, that is where it is coming from. So if she plans on stopping that, that will be like, I won't say it is an end, but it is like it, it is looking like I see it will be a dead end for Queen Naomi and also for every single person in the palace. But who exactly is willing to go through all of the trauma? Who exactly is willing to go through all of the pain just because of Queen Naomi? All of the older is now we come and say, hey, they have something they are doing. They have what they want to do. So they are not willing to face anything at all. It is okay. Everybody has a job to do at one point. But that doesn't mean you have to go ahead and insult somebody. That doesn't mean you have to go ahead and look for ways yourself that this person is not going to be okay. If at all you are looking for ways to help yourself in all of the respect of that, you should know that someone's life is at risk. Someone's life is at risk. Instead of risking that person's life, it is better you help the person. It is better like that. But the older risk cases are different. The older risk cases are way much different than anybody could ever think of. Instead of going around trying to figure out ways they can help themselves, sort out the problems of Queen Naomi and also for Oni, they are busy around doing things that don't even please the eye. 
things that don't even please the eye. If at all Oni still keeps on keeping them in the palace, then it is going to be a roller coaster ride for him and every single person. So in the midst of whatever is going on, Oni should make a choice right now. Oni should be sure that the choice that he is about to make is going to make a huge difference inside of the palace of Ilefe. Or else it is going to be way more very and very very interesting. It is going to be way more problematic. It is going to be way more very these things are beyond words expression. So if I talk with Naomi is still planning on returning into the palace, she should definitely think about it very well because this is the last thing she should ever think of. To come back into the palace at this point in her life is just like her walking straight into a pit because she is knowing that there is trouble there but she's still going there hoping that one sort of miracle will happen. So if she's still waiting for that miracle, she can go ahead and wait for the miracle to happen. But as it is, a whole lot of things are going on. So she should know what decision, what step she has to take in order to avoid all of these things happening in her own life. So guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to drop your comments.